नोआपाड़ा टू बाराशात मेट्रो कॉरिडोर वाया एयरपोर्ट एन 18 किलोमीटर मेट्रो लाइन बीइंग बिल्ट टू प्रोवाइड वर्ल्ड क्लास ट्रांसपोर्ट फैसिलिटीज टू द पीपल ऑफ नॉर्थ कोलकाता मे बी योर पेन ऑफ कम्यूट इज ऑल सेट टू एंड नाउ यू विल सून गेट द फील ऑफ कोल्ड एंड कंफर्टेबल राइड अलॉन्ग द बिजी स्ट्रीट्स ऑफ नॉर्थ कोलकाता In the last two episodes we got a review of the under construction phase 1 of this project between Noapada and airport. We saw how Kolkata is building India's largest underground metro complex under busy areas of airport. Let us now move on to the next phase, a 3.5 km stretch from airport to New Barakpur. So far you have understood that the Noapara Barashad line will be the continuation of the existing system that is currently being used by the North South Metro. In fact, documents officially suggest to make combined operations on North South Metro and airport line. This means that you will see direct trains running from Kobi Shubhash and Dukhineshwar towards airport until our old heritage metro is converted to CBTC. But what next beyond airport? Will the same trains continue up to Barashat? Here comes the biggest twist. Everywhere on articles related to metro, you will get to see that Noapara Airport Barashat line is a single metro line. But in our research, we found something else. The drawings of airport metro complex suggest the junction of two different metro corridors: the Noapara Airport line and the New Goria Airport line. According to myths, after airport metro station ends, the noapara line should continue towards new barakpur and new goria line should end right there but drawings suggest something else according to the drawings of airport yard the noapara line suddenly ends at airport after the station ends the up track continues up to the yard and ends at a 180 meter long overrun line having a buffer end the down track however ends with a 180 meter long reversal line inside the yard again with a buffer end a single branch line however diverges from the reversal line and continues towards birati by merging into the birati bound tracks the extreme ends of both reversal line and the overrun line are sealed with a diaphragm wall of the yard if metro at all tries to run trains between noapara and new barakpur then trains will have to run on a 600 meter long single line section And as you all know bidirectional single line operations in metro rail is basically impossible in any metro rail having a potential like Kolkata. This means if you consider this layout as final direct operations of metro rail between Noapara and Barashat does not seem possible at this moment. Interestingly the tracks of New Goria airport line that should have ended at airport directly continues towards Birati without any interruption. No single line operations are needed for this line at all if you run trains from New Goria to Barashat via airport. Hmm, Rahushir on the boy acha. Does it mean that we have been fooled by all these documents so far? Does it mean it's New Goria airport line that will continue to Barashat? In fact, Metro has clearly said that the New Goria airport line will be equipped with platform screen doors, but the Noapara airport line won't be having them due to lack of uniformity in the rolling stock. However, in the tender documents of New Barakpur extension, authorities have mentioned the usage of platform screen doors at Birati, Michael Nagore and New Barakpur stations. Also, if airport metro station at all serve these two metro lines, then 3 out of 5 platforms should have platform screen doors. Also when we visited the construction sites of this line we were told that the elevated viaduct near Barashat was going to use box girders like that of the New Goria airport line the Noapara airport line however uses i girders both these excuses of using psd and box girders can be shot down with possible explanations they don't support our claim but unless they modify the design of airport yard which doesn't seem possible at this stage of construction running direct trains between noapara and barashat looks like an impossible task you can be 95% sure that airport barashat is actually the extension of new goria airport line and not noapara airport line direct trains might be run from new goria to barashat via rajarhat and airport unless something extraordinary happens 
to massive land acquisition problems and material modification issues faced in the last decade, execution of metro railway project beyond airport towards Barashat seemed impossible. As time went by, it was understood that expecting any kind of assistance from the state government in solving land acquisition problems beyond airport is an act of foolishness. So after suffering for nearly seven years, an ultimate decision was taken to terminate the metro project at New Barakpur. If situation permits, it can be extended to Barashat in future. Now preliminary work started, a revised sanction of 1622 crores additional to the project cost was provided by the railways, marking an end to all problems in making the metro line up to New Barakpur. Back in 2010-11 when the project was approved, Plans were made to build elevated metro lines around the airport. But the Airport Authority of India shot the plan down and demanded an underground alignment for the sake of air traffic safety. Metro Railway and Airport Authority of India came to a conclusion, where Airport Authority of India agreed to provide a long strip of land up to PT College for the construction works. Since land was promised, requirement of tunnel boring machines was not felt and Metro Railway decided to bring down the project cost by choosing top-down cut and cover method to build the tunnels. An additional metro station was also included at Michael Nogor. Often cut and cover tunnels along roads create huge disruptions during construction. But in this case, it won't be a matter. All three metro stations and the entire tunnel will be built on the right side of Joshua Road under the land of Airport Authority of India, preventing any kind of traffic disruption. But this brought another set of problems. At least 40 structures coming in the way of the tunnels will be partially or fully broken down to facilitate the construction. These structures include cargo reservoirs, quarantine centers, two overground tanks of Indian oil and a few buildings owned by Airport Authority of India. Small shops and an entire bus terminal currently being used by 30B buses will also be demolished. They will be either partially operated or completely relocated elsewhere at the expense of metro. There will be three metro stations beyond airport. They are Birati, Michael Nogor and New Barakpur. The Birati metro station will be exactly at Birati Moor where the Birati station roads meets Joshua Road. The station will be built beside Joshua Road on vacant land of Airport Authority of India. The entire complex of Birati metro station will be 434.5 meters long and 18.1 meters wide. The platform itself will be 180 meters long and 11.1 meters wide. The track will be at a depth of 11.74 meters from the ground level. There will be two levels below the ground as usual, the concourse level and the platform level. Usually the concourse level is built exactly on top of platforms, but in case of Birati it's different. If you visit Robindra Shodon, Kali Ghar or Robindra Shorbor metro stations of North South Line, you will see that they have not one but two concourse levels at extreme ends of the platform. The moment the platform level ends, the staircase and escalators towards the concourse start. Both Birati and Michael Nogor metro stations will be exactly like this. Two concourse levels will be built, each having a length of 30 meters. After the platform level ends, a 10 meter long staircase will be there followed by a 15 meter long space for accommodating AFC gates. The concourse will end here with a 15 meter long set of ticket counters. The stations will also include ventilation shafts, service buildings and traction substations. Since the metro station is proposed to be built on one side of the road, two pedestrian subways will be built. There will be seven exits for Birati metro station. Construction of Birati metro station will involve permanent relocation of airport traffic guard at Goripur. A small water body will also be consumed by the metro. 1.3 kilometers after Birati metro station, MRB welcomes you to the Michael Nogor metro station. The Michael Nogor station will be built opposite to National Model High School. It will have the same structure as that of Birati metro station with concourse at extreme ends. Two pedestrian subways will be constructed under Joshua Road which will connect eight exit gates of the metro station. Michael Nogo station is 426 meters long, 18.1 meters wide and 12.7 meters deep. The main problem is the station is in close proximity to airport runway. 
it will be within 150 meters of the proposed taxiway of airport that is currently being made. So security might be a matter of concern. Before construction starts, existing boundary wall of airport will be diverted and pushed back towards the runway by a few meters. The peripheral road of airport will also be diverted along with the boundary. There are no further relocations required. Both Michael Nogoda and Birati stations will have a 180 meter long and 11.1 meter wide island platform to accommodate 8 coach metro trains. But New Barakpur is different. Beyond New Barakpur, the alignment may be either elevated or underground. If elevated, then the ramp will be very close to New Barakpur station beside the Noai Khal. So, the depth of the metro station cannot be like Birati or Michael Nogor. Because of this reason, Metro has decided to eliminate the concourse level and build the ticket counters on platform level itself, similar to Park Street. If you have seen Park Street Metro Station, you will notice that instead of having a concourse level, the non-paid area has been made just beside the platform. Also, instead of making one common island platform, two separate platforms have been made. New Barakpur will be exactly like this. Due to depth concern, the concourse won't be possible above the platforms, so a common non-paid area will be built beside the Barashak bound platform, which will be connected with Noapara bound platform with a pedestrian subway underneath the tracks. So, the metro station will be composed of two 180 meter long platforms, each having a width of 7.5 meters. The tracks will be at a depth of just 7.6 meters from the surface. The station will be built on a curve of radius 500 meters and crossovers will be provided on both sides of the station. There will be 6 exits from the station and a pedestrian subway underneath the Joshua Road. The station will again be built under the land of airport, around 150 meters ahead of BT College Mall. This 10.2 km line is expected to end right here. But recently, Prime Minister asked the railways to find possibilities of making the stretch between New Barakpur and Barashat underground. Although this will drastically reduce the land acquisition problems, underground route will be equally challenging. Does it mean that the line will be realigned along Joshua Road and not along the railway tracks? Does it mean huge TBMs will now be used to bore tunnels? If yes, then what are the possible new stations? We will discuss the matter in our next episode. To keep an eye on this project, please subscribe to our channel.